Hey guys, it's Bonnie. Welcome back to the asylum and today we're going to do a wig review. So one of the things that we're going to be focusing on on this channel is cosplay because me and my husband got to cosplay uh, for our first time, I think it was about two years ago because it was just either before or after our wedding. We went to Supernova for the first time. We went in pretty basic costumes. We went as Bob and Linda Belcher from Bob's Burgers. And um, yeah, we had so much fun and it was just awesome. So from then on, we wanted to plan bigger and better cosplays and get right into the scene because we really enjoyed it. A few of the cosplays that we were going to do are going to require wigs. So I thought if I bought some wigs from a company, we could do a review, might help you guys out, might not. Because I'm going to be brutally honest. When I was first looking around, I looked up heaps of companies, I got heaps of um, recommendations, but of course I have a price point because I can't spend too much money. So I was looking around for budget ones that weren't too shonky looking, that didn't look too much like cheap nasty synthetic wigs um, and one of the biggest reviews I got was wig is fashion now they have decent pricing um, not too bad they have sales a lot they have a clearance section so wigs that they're trying to get rid of that are off like have a big discount um, and stuff like that they've also got lots of variations so they've got They've got lace front wigs, they've got non-lace front wigs, that I think they've got some human hair ones. They're really expensive though. So I thought I'd give them a go. I looked them up before I purchased them and I saw a few reviews on YouTube. They seemed quite good. Um, the packaging looked lovely and I was so excited. So I went out and I bought some. Now, to be honest, I got the wigs yesterday and I haven't even opened them yet. So this is going to be a really honest reaction. I'm unimpressed so far because the shipping took ages. Um, it took a month for them to get here. I ordered them on the 21st of August. I got them on the 20th of September. And I know at the moment COVID has slowed down all of the postage systems, but up until about five days ago, they hadn't even left China yet. So they were still in their country. They had they had not even arrived in Australia. So I'm not going to blame Australia Post at all. It's got nothing to do with them. They were actually quite quick on delivery. Um, so yeah, I'm very unimpressed with the postage. I'm also unimpressed with their customer service. I messaged them a few times regarding um, the fact that the wigs were still in China and it had been a, a quite a long time and was inquiring as to what was happening first time they got back to me quite fast and were just you know please leave a few more days please 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 so I let it go and then I messaged them back about a week later um, at which time Instagram had had an update and had introduced the ability to know when your messages had been read and you are not being replied to which they had done so I was very unimpressed with that um, and also to come home and see the box with a massive like bang in it it's all punched in at one end it looks very average and just in terms of the packaging that I had seen I have bought three wigs a wig cap and a comb this looks nothing like the packaging packaging that I've seen so I dare say I'm gonna open this box and there's just gonna be three wigs in plastic bags shoved into this box so yeah already I'm really unimpressed um, I also found out after I'd ordered them that if you post photos on your social media and they um, take your photo and they put it on their Instagram, you can get a $15 wig credit. So if you hype the brand up and they pick your photo, you get a $15 credit. And if you make a YouTube review and it makes it into their, you know, like video whatever um, you also get a $35 credit so I don't know how honest the other people have been I didn't know this until I bought them but I'm telling you guys 
because now I don't know how honest everyone else has been. So I'm going to be brutally honest because you know what? I don't care. I don't care if I get a credit. I wanted decent wigs. So let's open it up. Oh my god, the box is so hard to open because it's so broken. So, as I suspected, just in plastic bags, no nice packaging at all. This one's even hanging out because it's not even sealed. Great. Alright, so I got a skin coloured wig cap because I have had other wigs but I lost my wig cap. I got a wide tooth comb, a proper wig comb because I don't actually have one of those and I read some reviews and one of them they said if you want the curls to be a bit longer you probably have to brush it out. Alright, here we go. I ordered this one. It is a beautiful black uh, with deep, deep, deep purple strands in it. Um, Okay, the quality is actually pretty decent. It's a lace front one, so I've got to cut the lace on it. Um, a lot of people on the website had actually used this wig to cosplay as Raven from Teen Titans, and to be honest, it would be the perfect wig for that. It's the perfect colour. It's got the little, uh, it's got the little widow's peak at the front. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. It's um, it's actually a beautiful colour. Yeah. Pretty decent, not as long as I thought it was going to be. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But um, I'll also put all the style numbers in the YouTube description. So if you actually want to buy any of these wigs after I've reviewed them, go ahead. They'll be right there. So yeah, um, it's not too bad. I'll do a try on later. Next up, I got this... Um, Auburn copper coloured curly wig. Again, this is another lace front one. Um, finding affordable lace front wigs was hard, so I had to look around a fair few places. Um, this actually seems quite nice quality as well. I'm actually surprised. Um, yeah, the color, the rings are a bit, ringlets are a bit tighter than I thought, and it seems to be appearing a bit more red on camera. It's a bit more coppery orange in person. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. It feels quite nice. It doesn't feel synthetic and shoddy like it's going to tangle all the time and it feels like you could probably actually wear it out and people may not be able to notice it's a wig. And the last one I ordered, it's not a lace front one um, because it has bangs, it has a fringe. So, one is a like a dark deep kind of grey colour. Um, it seems to have pink undertones which are quite nice. Um, it's very long but it's already shedding heaps just as I'm running my fingers through it. Um, obviously this was the cheapest one because it wasn't a lace front one. Um, so you know I didn't expect too much in terms of quality because I have non-lace front wigs with fringes and they're pretty terrible. They're from Rockstar wigs. I mean I've used them a few times uh, but they just they tangle so easy and they're so thin you can like see your scalp through them you can see all your hair underneath if you're not wearing a wig, wig cap like I have black hair dyed black hair um, and my other wig from one of my other wigs from Rockstar wigs is pastel pink and it's just it's a no-go honestly you can see right through it, you can see the fact that I've got dark hair underneath. Um, and the wigs aren't very big, like they don't fit my head properly. So I'm I'm really hoping this, this will be better. Um, this one's not amazing quality, but again, at least it's not shiny. Like it doesn't look shiny, it doesn't look too synthetic. Looks like it might tangle a bit easier and yeah, it's actually starting to shed quite badly. Um, so I guess we'll have a bit of a wig try on, shall we? Okay, so here's number one. Because it's just a quick try on, um, I put my wig cap on, which was a task and a half because my hair is not actually long enough to tie up. But, um, so I've just quickly trimmed the lace. Um, it's, it's decent quality, um, for the price. I'm actually quite impressed. It's got a few kinks in it. 
uh, from shipping so hopefully I'll be able to straighten them out I'll look at the info on the actual wig page and see if I can put heat on these wigs but I think I can um, yeah it's not too bad the hairlines a bit strange <laughs> but we get over these things the color is beautiful um, and this yeah definitely would be the perfect wig for a Raven from Teen Titans cosplay on to number two okay so this is number two I actually the hairlines are gonna need a bit of plucking they're a bit strange um, they're gonna need a little bit of work this one is a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be on it's not too bad um, I brushed out the curls a little bit and I it was parted in the middle and it looked really strange so I just pulled this pulled this bit across and now it doesn't look too bad it looks like real hair um, or you know real colored hair um, yeah it's it's not too bad the the hairlines are gonna take a little bit of work um, and the way it was sitting in the bathroom I don't know if you can see it here it looks a little bit mullety which I know they're all the rage at the moment but just not for me it's just not for me I had one years and years ago it's not a good look on my giant head um, I definitely like the color of this one it looks really nice obviously with different colored eyebrows I do my eyebrows black because I have black hair um, yeah I actually really really like this one um, it's decent quality but yeah like I say the hairlines need a bit of work Number three. Okay, so I'm gonna be brutally honest here. I hate this wig. This is not the same quality as the last two. I've got it on now so you can see it, but I'm taking it off. Oh my goodness, okay. So, honest review time. This one is going to be a wear for photos. Maybe, probably gonna end up in my kids dress up basket just trying to put it on pulled my wig cap off twice um it has no clips on the side and one tightening band at the back but the actual head sized cap on the inside is so small it does not fit my head it sits like above my head and it makes me look like I've got a cone head um, so it doesn't fit at all just trying to brush it out with the actual proper wig combs that I bought turned it into a ratty tangly mess um, and it shed so much hair which it's doing more now that there is now long grey hairs all over my bathroom so I'm really really unimpressed with this one I mean of course it was the cheapest one I wasn't expecting too much but it's as good quality I mean it's thick you can't see my scalp through it. That's probably the only thing it's got going for it. Um, if you've got a small head, go for it. Probably work for you. I'm really disappointed too because I loved the colour of this one. Um, all in all, wig is fashion. If you disregard the shipping times because it was ridiculous. Um, so if you do want to order from them, I suggest that you order well in advance. They do have some um, wigs on their website that they already have in categories like cosplay wigs. So I think they've got like a Harley Quinn one. Um, they've got ones that people have used for things that they've chucked in there. A few different bits and pieces. Um, maybe. I would maybe order from them again if I saw one that I really liked. Um, just the customer service and the postage was... It wasn't great for me because I spent all up um, including postage it was over $200 Australian um, and that's a lot of money for me this was a massive treat to myself so if I was to order from them again I would probably uh, definitely order the lace fronts I I wouldn't even bother with the other one so now I've, I'm probably gonna see if I can find a lace front one in the grey that I like um, I did want to buy a black one but they didn't have any of the black ones that really tickled my fancy that's why that's why I bought the blacky kind of purple one and it's okay um, 
just isn't kind of the style. I don't know. I mean, I'm... I'm relatively impressed with the quality of the lace front ones. I just, I, I wouldn't even bother with these ones. It's just really not worth it. Um, paid a little bit extra. And, yeah. I'd maybe buy from them again. So, I hope that all helped you guys. Um, and yeah, if you order from them, go for your life. If you find one that you really like, but I suggest you do the lace front ones. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped a couple of you. I may be ordering them. I may be ordering from them for a couple of cosplayers, but that will be in the future. Or I might find somebody else. You never know. I may end up doing a few more wig reviews. Um, if there's any more kind of reviews you want me to do or you want Tom to do, go for your life. Send us a message, comment on the videos, tweet at us, whatever. Um, and let us know. But don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching for another video. Bye.